y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha and I try to put out a cleaning video once a week. Today, I'm gonna sit down in front of you guys to do my intro because I have some news to share. And I'm very excited to share it with y'all. Um, a lot of my friends don't even know this yet. I was really excited to kind of like keep it a secret until I got it out on a video and took some really cute pictures to announce it. So for those that don't know, I am a stay at home mom. I have a one and a half year old and my husband is active duty Air Force. We have been stationed here in Louisiana for going on almost eight years. I personally have lived here for almost nine but I met him um, when he first got here, and so he's been here for almost eight years. So one of the things that um, we have been wishing for for a very long time is to get a change of station. I, would, I have been wanting to move for a long time. My husband's wanted to move longer than I have, and two weeks ago, we found out that we got orders and we will be moving to Utah. And I am so excited because I've never lived in Utah. I have visited Salt Lake City and I've driven through the whole entire state of Utah on my way to move to Washington State, but I've never actually lived in Utah. I've been doing a lot of research and I've looked at a lot of pictures and it looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm really excited for the summers to not be dripping wet and hot and humid like they are here in Louisiana. I am very excited for the change. My family um, in the past two weeks has gone through the whole cycle of the PCS um, emotions. PCS stands for Permanent Change of Station. I'll try not to use too many acronyms, um, but I'm just kind of used to saying it. So we're gonna get a permanent change of station and we've gone through the whole like anxiety, the stress. I went through the sadness for a minute because I'm gonna miss my, my best friend, Brittany, which on that topic as well, um, I know that I promised you guys to finish organizing her home but she ended up getting a second job and our schedules just haven't matched up yet so with us moving as well I went ahead and let her know that I will not be able to help her I need to get my house ready for our move I'm gonna be doing a lot a lot of purging I'm gonna be decluttering so much stuff and getting rid of so much stuff living here together um, over the eight years the between the both of us and then us as a couple we have hoarded a bunch of stuff and a lot of it is really unnecessary stuff to move with so for the next few months I'm gonna be going through every room I'm gonna be deep cleaning them decluttering and then organizing what I do decide to keep I'm also gonna be starting a process of creating a cell box a donate box and then of course like a trash box per room and then once the trash box gets full I'll take it out but I'm gonna do a donate in a cell that way when it comes time to do our moving cell it'll be a whole heck of a lot easier to organize that to put it out on the curb to like see if people come buy our stuff so we can earn a little money also get rid of a lot of our stuff so I have went ahead and I, I did sell my bedroom furniture so you're gonna see a change in in my bedroom in about a month that furniture will be leaving my bedroom and it's gonna become I'm pretty sure a chaotic mess in there with us not having any bedroom furniture um, we did keep our bed, of course, but like our furniture with our dressers and things, we're not gonna have that. So we'll be boxing up a lot of clothes. I'll take you guys along for that of how I'm gonna try to organize that the best I can to keep us um, from going insane of looking through things to try and find things for the next couple months after that. We're not gonna be moving until after Christmas. So I still think that I will decorate for fall, but I'm gonna skip Christmas. I don't wanna decorate for Christmas and then turn around and pack it right back up because we're not exactly sure when we're leaving yet. So with all that being said, I hope that you guys stick around for this next little series that's going to be coming out. I don't want to call it a series, but there's going to be a series of changes happening throughout my house. And I'm going to take you guys along for the whole process and kind of show you how I get ready for a move and what's all going to be leaving my house and show you how I'm going to try and move and be a lighter um, household, I guess, the way to put it. So if you haven't yet, consider hitting the subscribe button, give this video a like, and let's jump into tackling my kitchen today. So to get my kitchen going, I decided to get everything cleaned up. I tend to organize better whenever I have a clean space to start in. So in the kitchen, this is going to be like round one of purging of my kitchen. I don't have a lot that I truly want to get rid of. 
Um, there's not really anything that I'm like, oh, I don't actually need that for the most part. I do have appliances that are in my laundry room that are considered um, kitchen stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just focusing on what's actually in my kitchen. So there's not going to be a lot of stuff actually leaving, but there's going to be a lot of organizing and sorting of stuff because I needed to go through my pantry and see what foods were coming up on expiration before our move. I wanted to make sure that I utilized as much stuff as I could before our move so that I'm not having to get rid of food or have to find someone to take food off of our hands. So I'm doing that. I also needed to go through my cleaning supplies because we can't, I don't want to travel with um, open containers of cleaning supplies. So I want to make sure that I'm pulling everything forward that needs to be used right away so that I'm not moving with um, opened containers of chemicals. So with that all being said, this also took me two days. My daughter is kind of less nappy lately. Like she only naps for like, I don't know, an hour, sometimes two hours, but it's only one time a day now. So it's a lot more active during the day with her. So I, I broke this into two days. I hit a, I cleaned the kitchen. I hit a couple projects the first day. The second day I got up in the morning. I made a big old pancake breakfast for my family. And then I went ahead and finished my project. I did not clean my kitchen on day two in this video because the same day on day two I filmed a whole house clean for next week to go out so with all that being said you're gonna see a mess on the bar still and behind in the dining room and the next morning on day two my kitchen will be a mess again all because I wanted to film a true all-day whole house clean for y'all so that's what I did on day two after finishing my kitchen
of us You don't think things through No, I know you Only photographs Is what we have
So caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So I got rid of quite a bit of stuff in here. A lot of it's gonna go like this. The stuff on the right is empty pretty much and everything over here is like the chemicals that can go back into the laundry room. Something I wanted to show y'all, I tried to follow a Pinterest, Pinterest tutorial of how to season my Dutch oven. I didn't know I was supposed to, but then I read up on it and I was supposed to and I feel like I did it completely wrong and I damaged my Dutch oven. If y'all know how to fix this, if there even is a way to fix this awful baked on oil stain that I now have on the inside of my beautiful Dutch oven, please let me know in the comments down below because I was extremely sad when I pulled this out of the oven. I, I don't know, I did it wrong, I know I did. If it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be alive. So I went ahead and took everything off the shelves except for what's the very top shelf because I know that stuff's fine. It's already organized. I don't need to touch it because I can't reach it half the time so it doesn't get touched. And then the bottom part I didn't take out yet. So I'm going to do the shelves first, get all the baskets organized, get everything cleaned off and look for expiration dates on all the products. I also have quite a bit of stuff left over from when we were on keto that I know that I'm not gonna use anytime soon. So I decided just to go ahead and give it to my friend who is still on keto. So I'm gonna have a big old pile of that as well that I'm just gonna be handing off to her. But for now, I'm gonna go through all my cans and I'm gonna start a, a use ASAP basket and then ones that they, they will still last until after we even get to Utah so I'm not really worried about it it's it, they're not perishable so I'm just trying to get it to where I do use the ones that need to be used and so far I've almost used over half of them so I'm doing pretty good at making sure to get through this stuff before we leave I know we're not leaving until after Christmas but I, I like knowing that I'm gonna be like already ready for the move so this is my process of 
helping me, I guess, deal with my anxiety of all the stuff that's in my house. I'm trying to put a process of utilize first, keep it organized, and when the time comes for the movers to come move us, I won't have to feel like I have to be on top of them and make sure they're putting stuff in the right boxes because it'll already all, all be organized. All they have to do is lift and put in a box. Simple, simple. I've got a song, you hum along, and we have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song makes you... In my house, we're obsessed with popcorn, and I found these on Amazon, and they are amazing. Just a little drizzle over your popcorn, and you have like homemade chocolate popcorn or homemade caramel drizzle popcorn. Definitely check those out if you haven't seen them yet because they are so delicious. Honestly, the worst hoarder when it comes to like these seasoning packs and I always like at our commissary they go on sale like certain ones at certain times go on sale so like when I see them like oh I'll pick up two or three of these and I always forget that I still have some at home and then I put them at the front so a, a lot of the stuff in the back of the basket ends up getting expired and I went through these and like a majority of them were expired and I was so sad because I love my seasoning packets I like to see a big old stash of them because I can make whatever I want for dinner any night because I have McCormick seasoning packets, but I had to go through them and pretty much had to get rid of a lot of them. So on this side of the counter, you're going to see all of the keto stuff that I'm going to be handing off to a friend of mine. It's not technically like for keto specifically, but it's the items I used when I was on keto and I'm not going to use it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back into the pantry in the fashion I usually keep it in. But hopefully this time I'll keep it organized until we leave. I'm going to try my best to get through my entire pantry without having to grocery shop as much before the move so that I'm not re-adding stuff to what I already have in stock. So I'm going to try and get as creative as I possibly can with dinners and keep it as simple as possible just so I can get through everything that's in here. I could 
So my fridge is very disorganized at the moment and it has a lot of leftovers and obviously a lot of hot sauces and tacos in it. So the day before this, we had sold our fridge that was outside. It was one of our first appliances we ever bought as a married couple. It was stainless steel. It was beautiful. I thought I'd keep it forever, but I really didn't want to have to move with it, especially if we're going to be moving into base housing. I didn't want to have to carry another fridge with us. So we went ahead and sold it the day before this and when we did we had someone deliver it for us and we ended up buying them tacos for lunch so that's why we have all this extra taco stuff in my fridge so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned out because I had to merge two fridges into one and most of the time our milks and our beverages and our waters and all of our meat stays in the outside fridge so now everything has merged into this one it is a little chaotic for me I have to figure out a new system of how I'm gonna do this I also have never really had to stock my bottled water in my fridge before. My husband always just picks a case up, throws it in the fridge, and I have a whole case of water to um, leave around my house. So with this fridge, I have less space to put water, which means I'm running out of cold waters all the time. And if you all have been around my channel for a while, you guys know that I go through a lot, a lot of bottles of water. So with all that being said, I got rid of quite a bit of stuff out of the fridge. It was mostly just leftovers. There's a couple dressings and things and sauces that just were expired. I did not recycle almost any of this stuff because the last time I did a fridge clean out like this, I dumped like the dressings and the expired food down my garbage disposal and it's it had like this awful odor for like a week afterwards and I kept cleaning it and kept cleaning it and kept cleaning it but the dressings just left like a, a nasty smell in my drain so I'm not doing that this time. So I do apologize. For not recycling those plastic bottles but I refuse to deal with that smell again so that's that let's go ahead and jump into this but I can help that I miss you now and I need to reminisce this cuz we still at a moments and they keep coming back to me Can help that I miss you now. I can help that I miss you now.
at your place Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Counting your freckles I don't feel like my fridge was overly dirty. I just needed a good wipe down and a little cleaning. But the bottom shelf of my door it tends to become the dirtiest shelf I have. And for some reason, we always have lots of dog hair that accumulates on that shelf and under, like in front of the little pull drawers. So like I'm always trying to get dog hair out of my fridge. Does anyone else who has like long haired dogs have that issue? I think it's so weird that it gets in the fridge of all places, but there's so much dog hair in my fridge. It's gross.
Pretty much anything that is liquid in these bottles is going to leave because a majority of it is expired or I just never use it and there's just no point in me keeping it. But I'm telling you, some of this stuff was all the way back 2016, like the red wine vinegars and things like that. Like I don't ever use it. I buy it for like a recipe, use it for that recipe, and then I never use it. And then I always forget this stuff is actually up there in that cabinet because I never open it. So I need to stop putting things in here that I know that can be used because it, it just gets forgotten. So the majority of the stuff is going to leave this cabinet as well. I'm going to try and fit some things in there that typically sit on top of my fridge so that I can make the fridge, the top of the fridge look a little neater as well. Got a restless mind Overall, on the first purge, I didn't get rid of too much. I'm sure I'm gonna go ahead and purge a few more things out of here, but I got rid of all of my like baking grease jars, just my grease jars in general. I reorganized some of my drawers and I got rid of cups and things that I knew that I wasn't gonna keep. Um, that I, I, We don't really use glass um, cupware, so finally, I just finally decided to get rid of it because I've already like broke two or three of the set. So I just went ahead and said, forget it. I'll just put it out for the garage sale and get rid of it. This was all the stuff that was above the fridge that I got rid of is going to go into the trash and then a lot of those jars I'm just going to put them into recycling instead of um, donating them even though they're in the donate box. So if you enjoyed this, got some motivation, consider hitting that subscribe button, give this video a like and thanks again so much for watching and tune in next week so that I can show you my whole house clean that I also worked on this same day. My house was completely trashed and I'm looking forward to showing that to you guys. See you next time.